machine to go, what heading do I want it to do the job at, what depth do I want it to till at, uh, and then once they set that all up, they can send that work plan to their fleet, and then as they, they go to the field, they'll open up Operation Center Mobile, they'll connect to their equipment, um, in this case, right, I'll connect to this 8R tractor, I'll go to my autonomy card, and then I've got the ability to start work, and so I hit start autonomy, I get a warning that says it's my responsibility to ensure the area is clear and safe to work. I swipe that, you'll hear the horn honk, it'll go through a 10 second warning sequence. So do two things, alert anyone in the area, it's about to start work. And two, it's the perception system is then ours. It's also looking for, is anyone around me before I start motion? And so from there, it's gonna go to work behind us. It'll make a turn to its left, it'll enter into its first guidance track, it'll drop the tillage tool. In this case, we're pulling a 2430 chisel plow. Uh, and start to till the field. And then you'll see it work behind us as it does its passes up and down the field. So there, we've entered the work area, we drop the chisel plow, uh, and we will begin to work the soil. So, 8R tractor, 2430 chisel plow, current production products, things you find in farmers' machine sheds today. We're designing autonomy to be retrofitable or upgradable on their existing equipment. One, uh, it allows them not to have to go out and buy a new special purpose built machine just for autonomy. It allows them to un uh, get this product onto their farm with their current farming practices, right? So it lowers the barrier to adoption. Uh, and we ask the farmer to change, you know, limited things about their operation. The other thing, we're building autonomy on top of the precision ag tech stack uh, that you heard our, our leaders talk about yesterday. So it starts with our, our GNS network, right? Our Starfire receivers and, and, and uh, recording a boundary. We leverage AutoTrack, our hands-free driving capabilities that have been in the market for 20 years. Uh, and then our automation products that farmers can experience today, like turn automation, section control, uh, and then it ultimately it uses one of our new products called AutoPath. AutoPath lays out some of the guidance lines for that farmer in the field. And really as a farmer uses it today in, in say a manual operation, they can start to understand how is John Deere going to lay out this field for autonomy when it becomes available. So they're gaining confidence in our tech stack that is used in the foundation of what autonomy is. And so uh, that's a little bit around what, what's retrofitable and what the precision ag tech set that goes into it. However, we also need some new components, right? There's some things that has to be installed in that machine. And Maya, you want to talk about it? Yeah, so what, um, I think the team here, right, is visuals. And what we basically do with the visuals is we take this really, really smart tool and make it a part of the hardware. positive. 
is allow a farmer to make adjustments to it. And so they're able to use Operation Center Mobile to control some things. In the case of this chisel plow, the things you really want to adjust are ground speed, turn speed, and depth. So this machine's running just under five miles an hour here. So you can see I'm gonna bump it up to seven miles an hour. You'll hear the tractor uh, start to rev up and accelerate in the field. So I'm making adjustments in real time to the job that I'm doing. Uh, I'm also then able to, to leverage the cameras that are already on that tractor, Operation Center Mobile, to see a live video stream from it. So ultimately I need the context from the field before I would make these adjustments. Uh, and that's, that's what our, our uh, video feed does. So I'm gonna put this at seven and a half miles an hour to let us, let us run. I also have a setting for turn speed. It slows down to four and a half miles an hour as it makes the turn. And then if I wanted to adjust the depth, I could do that from here. Uh, given these conditions, if we run it over and over again, I'm gonna leave it, leave it set where it's at. So that just gives you a little bit of an idea of some of the capabilities that we're able to leverage through Operation Center Mobile and our connectivity. It's also the reason why connectivity is incredibly important to deer to help customers solve globally for this type of technology. So we're relying on connectivity to interact with this equipment. So I just hit stop. So maybe I wanted to check on something. I wanted to look at the camera. Uh, I, maybe I allow some dust to settle so I can see the image better. So I have that ability uh, through Operation Center Mobile to stop the equipment. I've got the ability to resume the, the job as it's out there as 